I want it to be if it next to a I think I want to see. I don't want it anywhere near where it can get in the Get in those doors when they go up and down. So I'm just gonna get me something. What's the hat? Hey, let me look through this stuff over here. I might have something really handy over here and all my stuff that will. Uh, <coughs> I was thinking of cup hook, but I got a bunch of them, but I don't don't want to go dig one out from up in the front of the garage. <coughs> Just something simple to wrap it around it. Screw or something. You know what? Those screws I hung the camera with, where's the, I got a couple in my pocket. They're just they're long, so that will actually be long enough for me to wrap that. Oh, and I've got a twisty. What do I do with it? Yeah, there's the twisty. So uh, screw. Shouldn't need but one. Now there's the box that came out. Got the drill out already. So uh, put that in my pocket until I. Now oh yeah. Dizzy. Okay, so I'll just put it up in this, you know, where I can reach it without the ladder. Uh, yeah, I'll fold the ladder up now. Uh, a chair over in that place. Sick look at this the other day. I had a well I had a poke did the same thing, but this time I didn't stay so long. I had a protein bar and it worked six hours before I quit. You know. I had a protein bar and uh, I had my breakfast and I was already well we take that diabetic mess and it really if all you're doing is just sitting there you'll do okay, but if you're doing anything. You will suddenly be starving and feeling bad. Uh, and need to eat something. Anyway, I ate a protein bar. That works really well for a while. For a good while. I mean, it's been several hours now. And, uh, let's see. I don't know where I want to put that. Oh, I think I'll put it up. Wrapping it around that light might that light part of the light fixture might be good, but I think I'll put a screw up high like that. And then just hang it on hang it on that. What's that drill? What do I do with that? There it is. Maybe I did need the ladder. I think I can get it here. I don't really need the ladder. Put the ladder up for nothing. Didn't think I was going to be up that high. Okay, well, let's not put it on the roof. Let's get it back out.
Yeah. It's a lot easier to another screw. Cables caught. Oh yeah, the twisty, the twisty on there, and then uh, I use it to hold it on the nail. Whatever the thing is. Twisty around the nail screw head. That way you can mount it and put it over it and then wrap it. Run out of twisty. Ah, oh, come on, you can't see it again. There you go. Here you are. Don't think my twisty was in the right spot. Twist there and then put it on there and then come on. Knock this should be hard. Can't see up here. Okay, I lost the twisty. Hold it securely enough, unless you get a stick, get it in a stick or something. Let's see. I think I'm going to do that. That's what I know. It was kind of twisted. Let me get the twist out of the cable. Let it go. Yeah, that kind of makes it a little higher. So I got it around the top of that, around the top of this, this one here, the one it's plugged onto, and uh, so this, if you screw it in, it'll come on, which is, most people don't realize that. This one's got a ratchet switch. I could do it the opposite. No, I can't. Yeah. It has to, that's the only way I can do it. And this one could just stay on all the time, but then, uh, probably turn the power off and, and turn, that turns off the camera, so we don't want that. So that's why I want a, a live plug that's, I'm going to go ahead and put in a live plug that stays on all the time, one way or the other. Okay. Now, let's start getting things put away. That hanging up there, I guess. Well, I can turn the lights on while I'm working. There we go. Let's 
so uh <coughs> I've got all those cables, where are they, down there, at the bottom of the ladder to put away. I guess I'll just move this for now. Uh, that's not work. There we go. I'll just do like I did last time. I'm just going to make a put-up video. I'm always jabbering while I... Well, I do stuff, so I might as well keep doing it. Uh, okay. Yeah. I that in my pocket. These are good to empty your pocket so that you don't. Oh yeah. Don't lose important parts of your tools. Like I've got this other. This other. Uh, that worked out really good, actually. I actually, you know, I dropped the Allen wrench and then. All the other, almost all the screws I could get to with this long screwdriver and that hex star bit. And, uh, did I ever pick up, I didn't ever pick up that Allen wrench, it's still on the ground. Okay, and this one here came with the kit. And, uh, I don't know where I'm going to put it so that I don't lose it. I said I might, I might twist it to put it, put it on the cable, but uh, that's not going to work. In. And this bag of ties, they're, not, they're nothing special. Uh, let's see. Screwdriver. I guess I can put the screwdrivers out. Sticking the way I want it to. The tape is all messed up. I don't want to get inside of this bag again. That stuff is so sticky. But if you kind of get it to stay in the right place, and then you can fold the bag up just right, you know. wire cutters. I kept them close to each other because it was, you know, I, I would always remember where that, that's one of those test lights, AC test lights. Kept them close to kind of to the, to the cutters because that, that was, you know, wire, wire cutters, test light, and it reminded me to use it, test it, th don't, don't just start wiring hot bars, stuff like that, but uh, also I was, I was afraid that you get squeezed and cut that, if that wire gets in the cutters, you get squeezed and cut my wire. Has it happened? I've always had to watch out for that. So anyway, going on about it. Uh, get my pockets cleaned out. Get my, uh, yeah, I gotta go back. I gotta get it, go outside and get that, my good Ellen wrench. Uh, it's out there somewhere. Now I'll use that stopwatch to get to it. I'll do that now because I'm going to end up forgetting again. Before I even mess with the drill, I was going to put the drill away, but let's just do that now.
like that's been a good place to hang the drop light. You don't need a drop light anymore, do you? Uh, you close it on. So, uh, uh, put this away because that has to be hung over there, and then I can shut the door again. shut when you stomp on it. The uh, spring broke on the dog with this thing on this side. And I repaired it but it made it a little shorter and anyway it's uh, did a bunch of trying to fix you know adjustments and trying to straighten it out. I actually had it straightened out working you know right and then uh, a day or two later And everything there too later it uh, it wasn't uh, and we got back to it again so uh, uh, I'll leave the height like it is I think it's better to, if I'm standing up at least you can see me Put these drill attachments away. I think I'll put these. Oh yeah, I'm going to put some tape over there right now. I don't have any time just now. I'll be able to hit that switch. I don't know why I want to take the switch, but I keep telling you, I'm not going in just yet. <laughs> and I won't put out the horn. these things here, but if I stick them out, stock them out four deep, then, then you kick them every time you go by, so I don't remember how I had it. This is pretty light, I might be able to do that with it. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Okay, I hadn't, never, I hadn't done that ever that I know of, 
So uh, with it, if that gets in, now the hole is not like something sticking out for you to trip over. That was a pain. That's that's a uh, aluminum rods off of a TV antenna. I kept getting wind, you know, free glimpse hitting and breaking them off and stuff. Uh, <coughs> I did pretty good on the ladders today. I uh. Like that right there, that's nothing. I'm just suddenly, you know, spinning and getting off balance. I stay for months and months at a time to where I can't walk down the hall to go from the bedroom to the kitchen without keeping my hands on the walls, and I'll just hit the ground. And I never, it comes, goes, and never know when it's going to come and go. And I just kind of noticed I was feeling a little better lately, deciding to do this. And all the things I like to do, I don't get to do most of the time because of all that. Man, my mind just don't work. Look, you see any of these videos, you see sometimes my mind don't work. All of a sudden. Or like when I first start uh, the video, uh, I haven't, you know, I haven't, uh, like these last few videos, I've been trying to get up, get ready, and get, get, get started as quick as I can, and I haven't had time. Like if I've got four hours, sometimes six hours, I might be able to think fairly decent. But uh, when I'm doing you know, any, any day, but uh, I, uh, I went blank. I'm going to cheat and sit down. Well, yeah, that's the last thing I need to do. That cord is running the camera. We'll just, where am I? Right there. I'm going to sit down. This is what you can't do when you're getting paid. You can't sit down. That's one of my first lessons I learned. Second place I work. A man on his feet is worth two on his seat. The guys I work for in the machine shop, I was working, they had a foundry in the back, and I was working in the foundry for him. I was 16 or 17. Uh, Pouring aluminum and brass and uh, making lawn furniture out of it. And uh, they, were, they had stools all over there. Their front part was a machine shop. They had stools everywhere and they sat all the time. And uh, so I thought, well, they have stools in the back. And then I know, uh, there was another older man working back there. When I first hired on, there was a young guy, just a couple, I was a couple years older than me. And then I think they fired him. And uh, he disappeared. And uh, there we go. Oh, I'm getting tired. Uh, what was my point? Oh, man. On, and, and they come outside. outside of the, you had to wait 10, 15 minutes before you could take the, the what you poured, the aluminum, molten aluminum, to, dry, to cool off enough so you could take it out of its mold. And... Uh, so I just uh, you know, and and also I was, I hadn't been working. I had been out in the heat. And it's always been hot in the summer in Texas, you know, and uh, so I wasn't used to the heat. And here I am in a foundry. I wasn't even just used to being outside. And so it was really, you know, killing me. And uh, now what? There we go. So I really did need to set. I. I when I'm working, I kind of prefer to stand. It's hard to get up and down all the time. But uh, even when I was young, if I'm doing something, and, and, and unless you need to set to do it, I kind of prefer to be standing. But uh, anyway, I started sitting because they did it. And a guy came in there and told me that a man on his feet's worth two on his seat. Took my stool away. And uh, anyway. I learned that saying and never forgot it. So, you ain't paying me, Mr. Bowen. Now, you're probably not alive anymore. Anyway, but you ain't paying me. I'm in my garage. So, that's what my buddy tell me I want to. I'm old. 
So sometimes it's it takes more energy to get up and down than it does to just stay standing. I'm to that point right now to where they got it open. These things, I know I have it the right way. No, I don't. I always see the open, and I see the arrow. It's pointing that way. But to me, left is open and right is closed for these kind of things. I think most of them must be. It's not just me. It's them. It's the people who made this one. Mr. Sears and Roebuck. Mr. Craftsman. That's what this is, is a craftsman. So. Dang, that one wrench in there. Oh, yeah, that's to change these little bits out. This is a handiest set. Uh, most, you can, most everything in there, once you put, well, you either put the long one, if you want to use this one with the drill on one end, and a, and a, you can actually, you have to use the Allen wrench, but you can change different bits. You don't, you know, there's different types of bits. Here, but I usually just use the standard Phillips. But, uh, what's missing from there? Huh. Oh, that goes there. And the, uh, Thing with extra drill bits goes there, but it never stays in there, it always falls out. So I gave up on trying to keep it in there. <laughs> okay, so uh, there we go. And I usually keep that. I'm just going to put it back in there because if I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll be looking for it and can't find it. You know, I, I kept it in my cordless bag. My D. They don't work without good batteries, and I think I think I have decided. I was kind of thinking about rebuilding them, and then I thought about uh, upgrading them to the 20 volt batteries. But I think that's gonna. Well, I decided that it's been a couple of years. You know, I don't get out and work much anymore, so it's been two or three years. So I've been thinking on this. There was there was one that kept working, and now it doesn't even work. So I would use it, you know, but. Uh, Anyway, now, uh, it's been a year or two since I discovered that you can use the 20 volt batteries on these. And uh, maybe they, I'm hoping they'll go down enough that I, I may just get some 20 volt batteries. But last time I checked, they were not, they were still too expensive for me. I didn't want to spend that much. Seems like every time I take this stuff out of here, I end up having to put it back in here in a slightly different way. There we are. Just as long as it goes, I don't know. Get the drill in there. So, oh, there we go. And the core. Anyway, maybe not one of There. Yeah. I actually use that sometimes to hold that down until I got one of this one done really well. Hold it down until I get uh, everything in there and shut the lid. Get everything in there, shut the lid, and then it'll be all right. Hopefully. Let's see. I don't think I can put all of those right there. Let's see. Let's find out. Oh, they don't fit. Okay. I still don't know what happened to the... Sometimes these little deals, they will slide all the way off the lot and latch them. One of them's gone. And I don't know what happened to make them gone. chair because it hurts my back to bend that low holding that weight. There we go. Oh. Yeah, I actually repaired the legs of my I mean there's three of them completely off the old tripod. 
I put one of them, the, the, it was this one of these, this one was about, it was folding, but flopping around, it wasn't standing, it wasn't holding it up, it, you couldn't even lean it up like that, it would go that way, so today I put some, some more, uh, so I fixed it before, there's two, two more laying in there, but the doggone, this is a, a cast aluminum, and I learned, you know, ever since I was 16, I learned a little bit about pouring aluminum. This is cheap Chinese cast aluminum. This is from Radio Shack. They were one of the first. I always liked Radio Shack, but they were one of the first companies to start selling cheap Chinese junk back in the 70s. And uh, my back hurts. I don't know what I did. So, uh, they, uh, that's why those are breaking apart. Good, good casting, and we'll cast aluminum will last for so many years, you know, glue. Uh, if it's, if it's made right, you know, if it's, if it, if it, the alloy is mixed right. You put alloy in it, and if you put the right, amount of the right kind for what you're trying to make it will be strong enough yet not brittle that's brittle and breaks really easy i mean you could just grab one of those uh you could probably if you tried real hard break that with your thumb that last one there of course i didn't want them breaking and i thought about a lot of things over the years i had a whole bunch of these and i let them all get away but this one and the other one the other one in my room i just took the thing completely off and it's mounted on my disc upside down and it's got a boom arm on it, and that's the one my SM58's on. And, uh, well, I'll put all those boxes over there in the stack. I don't have to put those back. Uh, I'll leave that somewhere. Where? I'm trying to think of a safe place to put it. Oh, that fan. Let's put it over here out of the way for now. I want it going back in the house with me. Okay, so, uh, let me see. I'm not sure. I want to get to where if I'm standing up, since I am standing up, I really don't ever know. A little higher, probably. Now you'll have probably a headshot. But, uh, yeah, I can un I'll unplug this, roll up this cord. Is this still recording? Yep. It's been working like a champ. Okay, uh, I'm going to unplug that, Let's see if that made it quit. This open camera app sometimes will quit when you, it didn't, when you unplug it from the power. What in the world? Oh, I see. What's in the way? There. Yeah, it'll be a lot easier if... If I could get it plugged in, I had those uh, that light that you saw the light going on and off. I had it plugged into the second to the last one, and now it should have been enough space for this. And uh, it was too wide; it was sticking in the way. So uh, now, get this little cord and put it up. <sighs> Almost ready to go in. Oh, the tape. Let me do it now before I forget again. How many times have I said I was going to do that and then forgot? Uh, yeah, I'll use masking tape because it shows up good when you ride on it. Or no, I'll use this. That would work better. Yeah. Okay, do I have a marker that'll work? I don't have a good marker. I didn't want to leave a good marker out here because I didn't want to. gotten tightened up a little much. Anyway, I don't want to leave a good marker on here. This is a highlighter. I've left it out here for years. Oh, I guess I can write on it with that ink pen there. Figure out what side is the side I want to use. Okay. Uh, if it'll write on there, I'll do that. I used to keep a marker out here and the heat and the cold made it dry up. Oh, this way. 
Yeah, that'll work. Leave on for security camera. Might be better than Marco. You can read it better up close, anyway. Yeah, this old pen it was floating around, and I finally wrote, or been out. I don't know. If, anyway, it still writes. It's been out here in the heat, the cold, everything. It still writes. <laughs> it's a pretty good pen. Okay. Now. There we go. Let me go over here. After I move this chair, let me put this down. Put this chair out of the way. I'm not to hit the now, uh, I have a knife, oh, I see. Okay, now this is the thing I've been going on and on about there that I needed to do. Is make sure this don't get left, turned off. Like and this is not really my idea of a good way to do it. But, uh, hopefully this will work until I get something better done. Leave on. I guess I should have. Usually it's good to write it before you cut it, but this time it was not. All right, now. Oh, uh, well, that spins really free sometimes. Let's see. Coloring doesn't always look right there. Now before I sit down there to put the tape up, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cord wrapped up. I feel like I started to drag that thing out and rewind it, but it always just gets in a twist no matter what you do. If you hang on one of those hangers that I have over there that are kind of hidden, <laughs> can't see it, but right in there, that's the first one. There's a cord on it, and then there's two more. Well, there's only one cord missing. It's that one. The one that's over there, and I just started leaving it over there because there's a plug over there and it can stay plugged in all the time. But uh, one minute this thing turns real good, the next minute it doesn't want to turn after I fixed it, but it's way better. Than it so, uh, uh, I can put the uh, put the uh, This is where I'm going. Okay. My 
found that, you know, a few days before I found this, I never put this out on the curb. There was two drawers sitting out there and they were kind of broken up. And I almost got them because I thought, well, I used to be a candy maker. I say that over and over, but I can fix those. I know how. And then I thought, uh, I don't want to mess with them. I thought, where am I ever going to get anything they're going to fit in? <laughs> well, just a few days later, this thing was on the curb. So, little did I know. And you know, you when you have one of those feelings, you should get that. You know, you should do this. You should do that. I have that feeling, and I just thought, well, that doesn't make any sense. <coughs> That's because I didn't understand the full picture. Let's see these. I'm gonna put them back now. Yeah, I'll put them in there. I don't. I mean, there's, there's, really, the heads are so little on them. I don't think they're, they're not, you know, those black screws have like twice as big around the heads and they fit perfect in those countersinks before that. Oh, there's my little black screws that, that I cut off so they wouldn't stick through that plywood. And I have a little, where's the other one? I have a little jar up here of cut off screws. I'll just put those in there. Okay, now I am, I'm just going to put them in here. There's a bag that's been cut open. Put this in there, wrap it up, put it in here. And there's a lot of times when I do that in the manual, uh, I put the box somewhere in the closet or something and don't remember that stuff's in there if I don't think to look. And then you never find it again. But it, you know, it's just hard for me to, where do you put stuff where you can always find it? So, uh, and the, <laughs> the, the amount, the light amount, oh, that's, that that, that, that uh, wing nut goes to, I took it down off the ceiling thinking, yeah, I could be using that for something. And I can. But uh, I can't see it. I'm going to have to open that other door of the garage door and do some real digging to try and, try and find it. What I do want to do these is metric. Put it back in the bag. These are nice. Uh, Millimeters, yeah. I remember that I, I figured, you know, I, I got thought, okay, these these screws in this light probably no, you know, metric. So I got just started get, you know, digging in the metric first instead of the second. Like I normally, I'm, I still, I still uh, think American, you know. I expect them to be metric. There we go. Let's see, what's that? And, uh, yeah, here's a piece off of that, uh, probably the one of the last ones. A bunch of, just, I've been finding chunks of it in my room and found this one out here in the garage. That must have been, it must have broke the other day when I was, yeah, when I was out here using it. I found it on the garage floor. Okay, now that, twisty, I don't know where to put it. I want to get it back in the house. Okay, which one of these has cut screws? Let's see. Which one of those has cut screws? So I can put these in there. Those are not cut. Nope. What's that? I got some in there. Those are, uh, yeah, those are really, well, I found them in the ground, and then that one that I put in the sheetrock and it didn't stay. That's sometimes I do that and I get too many bottles to end up having, you know, the same thing spread out. Yeah, here they are. Cut screws. Is it marked? Screws, screws, just says screws. Yeah, cut. Just cut. Perfect. If I, if you keep stuff organized and then the next time you need that, it really comes in handy. Sometimes I do that, and sometimes I don't. There's some more screws. I wish I had my good lid for that. Lid, that's the lid that I threw away earlier. <coughs> okay, now that uh, I need something for that light. Oh man, that's in the bottom of everything. I 
I just remembered something like, huh? Should the porch light be on or off? Uh, it won't hurt, hurt anything. It's not connected. Okay. It's the more light, the better. Okay. So, you know, I mean, it'd be good to leave it on okay. all the time. Because the other camera's still on. The other camera's still on, and it benefits from the porch light. Okay. Uh, well, I think I will. Let's see. Um, I want a bracket for that. Where is that light? I put it somewhere. I don't know where I set it now. Oh, I put it over there. I'll leave it there, I guess. Uh, yeah, because it'll just probably fall. But anyway, a clamp bracket. See, there's one up there. That light is on a clamp, uh, and it has a switch and everything, and it's just clamped up there. And and since it's hard, you can't reach it up there, I just plug it in and unplug it over here. But this other one that used to be on this tripod that I'm, I'm using for my camera tripod right now, it's, uh, I think I'll get it. I will not remember where I put it. But I'm afraid to put it over here. This one. You know, it used to be on, the, it was on this, this tripod, and I decided to use it for my, I put it in there in my box of screws, and I'll see it, and then, but the box, <laughs> the box where I, uh, I just, well, I just stack them by their size, but I believe it's the bottom one in that, yeah, the bottom one in that, that row of boxes right there. I put all that stuff in there just today. I put it over there so I wouldn't have to uh, move them to get to my screws. Over here, my screw basket. Right there where the light's sitting. But, uh, just when you got, don't, when you got too much junk for your space, I'm going to turn on this tablet one more time and see if, the, how, if I can see the light. See how well it might. Out here, of course, if it works out here, it'll work in the living room real good because got a good connection in the living room. I mean, a stronger Wi-Fi signal in the living room. But, uh, and then I'm going in. I think you got to hold it on to that. There we go. That actually worked. I mean, it was a little, well, I'm using my live stream instead of the, the, uh, tiny cam app that I discovered. You know, the app that came with this camera, the app that, that they make for the Ctronics cameras won't run on this tablet, won't run on none of my phones. And uh, so I kind of looked around by just going by reviews and that they, they would do ONVIF, that's the, the protocol, you know, that these cameras use. I mean, they actually will do more than one. These, this camera will do more than one protocol. But, uh, the ONVIF was the main one that like makes it compatible with many other uh, softwares and stuff <coughs> so uh, there's so many you know uh, so I just kind of went by the top two ratings top two on NVAF type oh yeah the battery's down 14% uh, okay well I, I can open that up for a minute then let me get that thing in there and plug it in forgot about that tiny cam free well, the, I just saw the audio only works for one minute in the free version. I didn't know that. There we go. There's my camera. You can see good. It's in black and white right now, but you can see good. And when it goes to color, with that big old bright light I have, I can use color. I'm going to go turn it on to color. Get in the settings on there. You know, you can get on the web browser and change settings. Oh, it's showing the frames per second. I guess I left it that way. It's HD 65. It goes between 0.7 right now, and then it'll go to 1, 1.3. It's not even getting two. Well, we're out here in two. Two frames per second. Uh, of course, there's nothing going on, so you can't see that. But, you know, if a car goes by, it's going to be gone by before you'll, you'll see it <laughs> uh, with this. And it's this tablet. I thought it was the, uh, you know, the five megapixel camera wasn't going to stream good on my network. 
And you can hear sound. That was the thing I wanted to. I wanted to see if I could hear the sound. Yep. I could just hear the roar of the highway and stuff. Yep. Cool. Of course, it's cutting in and out. Well, I'm going to shut this thing down because I can't. There we go. All right, here. Probably a car might have came. I don't know if that was a car coming down this road or out on the highway. But uh, just if you get your tongue, you pull that out, you can get to those wheels down there. That's just crazy. But anyway, I'm starting. How are you all? Plug you in, let you charge. In the house, not out here. Okay. You know, everything is always a bigger job now than it used to be. I mean, I thought it was when I was younger. I think I just took some strides of it. <laughs> oh, these. <laughs> I'm just loosening my belt. <sighs> it's squeezing me. I tightened it up so that my pants wouldn't fall down while I was working. These pants are actually really loose. And, uh, they kind of, you know, crumple up <laughs> when you get them tight enough. I normally always wear the belt where it is right now, which is fine with my shorts, as long as they're not, not needing washing. <laughs> they uh, they all stay up without the belt. It just feels better to me, and it helps. feels like it helps. And, uh, oh, I'm still running the camera. And uh, I'm sitting here rolling up the cord, getting ready to go in. Uh, <coughs> I don't know what I was saying. So I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, I'm rolling up the cord and shaking the camera, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to quit. This is it. I've got this camera installed except for... I do want to put... Well, I can do whatever I want now. I was kind of thinking I might want the power plug below the switch so that cords won't hit the switch and break it or turn it on and off. Probably break it is what would happen. Uh, or But the wiring-wise, the wiring comes from the attic down and then then back up to the lights over there uh, would actually be real good to you just cut into the wires and wire it into the box or like I said I do have a uh, I don't know I put it in there I know I put it in there and I couldn't get it working and I had decided that that uh, switch that was that was just see what you, what they do sometimes when they put in a switch they don't run both sides of the hot and the common they run uh, just one side and switch it on one side, one leg of the electricity, one side of, of the 110. It's not really a leg. 110 is a leg, but like if you have three phase, you've got uh, three 110s. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, three, four, 110 circuits. Um, so anyway, I thought, okay, I guess they're just using the Romax to switch one side uh, of it. But no, it's it's uh 